Brueggemann with the City of Albuquerque Public Art Program. And I'm Nan Masland with the Bernalillo County Public Art Program. Welcome to our exhibition, All Over the Map, the Ongoing Dialogue of Public Art. Literally, all over the map in Albuquerque and Bernalillo County, we have over a thousand works of public art funded by the city, the county, the state, and the federal government. You could drive all over the map, or you could come to this exhibit at the Albuquerque Museum and see highlights from the collection that celebrate history, culture, tradition, and innovation. We have something here everyone will enjoy. So we're very excited. Our exhibition goes back 125 years of public art in the region. And it's not officially public art before 1978. It's more about civic art. Um, but it includes uh, statues and sculptures and um, functional objects. Some of the things we're very excited about is a little bit of history about uh, the big concrete baseball that people probably know and love at the um, Isotopes Park. We've got a historic picture of it in here. Uh, we've got also got a little bit of information about the Big Red Arrow at Indian School Plaza, um, which most people know now as the big landmark at Whole Foods. Um, so we've got a whole diverse selection of great pieces in this history exhibit. And we really, we really have to thank um, Professor Mark Childs at the University of New Mexico um, and civic designer who put this particular little section together for us. The first municipal facility that actually commissioned art from artists was the Sunport. It, back then, the Albuquerque Airport, and uh, they were uh, really aware of the idea of showcasing New Mexico's style and culture for the visitor and for the tourist. So, um, our little uh, piece that we talk about the Sunport in this exhibit is a little historical overview of Pop Chali, which was one of the very first artists who was commissioned to do a, um, artwork inside the building. And a lot of those murals still exist in the uh, current airport, and people can see them on display. So in 1978, Harry Kenney actually was the first mayor to propose that we have a public art ordinance. And around that time, there was a lot of land art that was happening in the city and on university campus. The city started moving into doing sort of large objects that were located out in the public environment along roadways. And the public art program literally started taking out ads in regional magazines and, and art magazines like Art News and Sculpture to try to bring awareness to the contemporary art that was hap now happening in Albuquerque, literally to put Albuquerque on the map. And uh, a couple of pieces were actually featured on the front covers of some of these magazines. Some of them were inside special editions. But as we go down the line, we see that there was a little bit of a backlash about that. So there's some fun um, little articles in the exhibit that talks about what the rest of the art world was thinking about Albuquerque's public art. So this was just the first of many controversies that we had here in Albuquerque. Of course, a lot of people are familiar with this one. We had a little bit of fun with this piece in the exhibit and tied in some outside materials to really sort of help give people an idea of what the controversy was really all about, especially if they weren't here back in the early 1990s. As most people know, this sculpture's official name is called Cruising San Mateo. It does have its beloved nickname of Chevy on a Stick. And what we included in the exhibition is some of the materials that describes exactly how it got that name. One of the other sections in this exhibition we're very excited about is the history of murals. And this little section is called All Over the Wall. And uh, Bernalillo County also has a lot of murals in their collection as well. Let's go down and look at some of them. This mural is called La Corriente de Valle, and it was completed this summer. It was by lead artist Joe Stevenson, and then a group of high school students and middle school students from um, commissioned by a working classroom. And this mural is um, 2,000 square feet. I think it may be the largest in Bernalillo County and uh, possibly the city as well. Um, and it spans the history of when uh, Spanish settlers came into the area and tells the story literally of the flow of the valley um, with highlights of, of the Hubble House and then in more contemporary time the Dia de los Muertos parade known as the Marigold Parade. These are some of the early sketches by the high school students. Here are some of uh, La Llorona and um, original uh, settler's family. This was taken from an actual photograph.
Bernalillo County and the city of Albuquerque have a long-standing tradition of artwork within our city and county. And we're always thinking about what will be coming up in the future. And the future of public art is about interaction. These pieces have been conceptualized um, to engage the community, engage the viewers and the visitors to have some sort of interaction, engagement with the actual art pieces. One example of an interactive art piece that is in a conceptual phase right now with the Bernalillo County Arts Board, it's called the Urban Desert Boardwalk. And it would be a mobile arts unit that has a unrolling boardwalk that could be programmed as a uh, fashion runway, a um, connector between two de destinations, and invites a, a interaction from the public. There's another piece here. This is another option. This is the tactical art platform. And this platform would be in its lowered stance uh, to be created as an art piece and then raised up 20 feet into the air. Um, and it could be all sorts of conceptual design possibilities. Um, but it would be this sort of modular cube that could then um, an artist could work within to create uh, any number of, of different ideas. The, some of these conceptual ideas here are an abstract sculpture, a, a floating cloud, um, something covered in vines and greenery. Um, and so part of this exhibit is inviting the public to weigh in and share their ideas on how they would like to use either of these uh, mobile units. So we get lots of great feedback from the locals and from tourists saying how much public art they see, but a lot of times what they don't get to see is the design, the fabrication, the installation, all the things that go on behind the scenes to actually realize these sculptures. So this whole part of the exhibit showcases some of that behind the scenes work. We also have in the exhibit lots of maquettes, which are the little models that artists actually make in order to show them to the committee and to realize their sculptures. So some of the more recognizable pieces that we have featured in this part of the exhibit is the aluminum yucca that's in Harris Canyon. We've got background pictures of what the, the leaves are actually made out of. We've got in Bernalillo County the Standing O, which is at the um, amphitheater, and it shows a little bit about how the artist designed that. But we also have a little bit of information about Evelyn Rosenberg, who is an Albuquerque artist who invented a process called detonography, where she actually uses explosives to make her art. So come on in to the exhibit, you can see how she does that. It's important to give artists who not only work in large scale, but work in smaller drawings and paintings, an opportunity to have their artwork in part of our collections, both in the city and county. These pieces can be found in public buildings and are on the walls, and we have a, a lovely uh, example of the collection right here from weavings to photographs to paintings and even small scale sculptures. Oftentimes we're asked the question, why public art? What is public art? Well, I think Gordon Church, the former public art manager for the city, said it best. Gordon said, public art represents an ongoing reaffirmation by the people of a city of who and what they are and what they value. The public art process is an important way for the people in a city to define their identity beyond constructing streets, buildings, and parks.